Press the button, toss in some fruit or vegetables, and push down the plunger. Seconds later, pure pulp-free juice minus the sore wrists. The juicer is actually a small centrifuge, which uses these powerful forces to extract juice by spinning fruit and vegetables at over 60 miles per hour. A centrifuge is any machine which spins its contents in one continuous direction. The fruit enters the centrifuge through the feed tube and is pushed down with a plunger. An electric motor, a basket, and two bowls. The motor turns the basket, which is the centrifuge. It has two essential parts. A high-speed grater that chops fruit and vegetables into small pieces, and a sturdy sieve. Now for the hard part, getting the juice out as fast as possible without any pulp, and no squeezing. When you switch the interrupter to on, the basket starts spinning and sets the fruit in motion. That's when inertia kicks in. Because of inertia, when set in motion by the spinning basket, the fruit naturally travels in a straight line. Inertia is the first law of motion. An object will stay in motion until acted upon by an external force. In this case, the object is the small pieces of fruit. And the external force is the edge of the basket. The force exerted by the spinning wall to counteract the fruit's inertia has a name. It's the centripetal force. So the centrifuge works with opposing forces, inertia and centripetal force. Inertia sends the fruit in a straight line, and the edge blocks it. So the fruit sticks to the wall and spins with it. This creates huge acceleration on the fruit. The wall must block the fruit, but let the juice get through. That's why the wall is actually a sieve. There are tens of thousands of minuscule holes in it, just big enough for the juice to escape. Centripetal force and inertia are still at work as they force the drain fibers up to the top edge of the wall, through this hole, and into a separate bowl. However, the juice passes straight through the sieve, into the other container, ready for drinking.